Okay, good morning. I'm Tom Coons. I'm with the House Minority Research Office here at the Hawaii State Capitol. Well, I think it's safe to say that the 2021 session ended with a bang last week. The coronavirus pandemic affected everything we did this year, both in public health and economic recovery. So we thought we would put some of our newest state legislators to the test, see what they've learned in a segment we like to call the Two Minute Drill. So I'm here with a group of our newest leaders, but I'm betting after an intense session such as this one, that newness is probably worn off. Um, I'm joined today by Representative Sonny Gannadin, Senator Laura Acasio, and Representative Adrian Tam. Good morning, everybody. How are we doing? Good morning. Good morning. Excellent. Okay, so here's how it works. I'll throw out a question and you'll have two minutes as a group to answer. We expect a lot of lively banter, okay? That's what we're looking for here. Oh, uh, and I am being- All of us together? Yeah, all of us together. Can you wow. believe it? All right. I know. Uh, and I am being told, is this right? This is right. Uh, this is by far the most popular segment on Live at the Legislature, so you guys should feel pretty excited. Um, and let's just try to keep things rolling, keep the momentum going here. So the first question, here we go. What song title best sums up the 2021 legislative session? Senator, we'll begin with you. Uh, thank you. Thank you for having me today. Um, you know, being that this is the first year we have seen this unprecedented in, in having a woman vice president, and now I am the ninth female senator, um, and I have a staff of mostly women, I would have to say Girl on Fire by Alicia Keys oh. is a... Uh, it represents our um, legislative session for this year. And also as a as a backup second one, um, being that I'm new and I started the day before session began, I Will Survive by Gloria Gaynor. <laughs> there we go, so that's a good one. How about uh, you, uh, uh, Representative Tam? Um, yes, thank you so much for having me again. And uh, I think if I could describe this session in one song title, um, because it was it, like Rep. Okimoto said, it was a whirlwind of a session. Um, it was our first year. It was a lot of fun. I'm gonna say Hawaiian roller coaster ride from the Lilo and Stitch movie. Wow. <laughs> okay, I like that one. That's good. And how about you, uh, Representative Ganadin? Uh, song I've been listening to on the radio, SZA, Good Days. Mm. Still wanna try, still believe in good days. Oh wow, there are bonus points for singing. Okay, I didn't I didn't expect that. All right. Yeah, okay. cautious optimism. <laughs> okay. That's definitely a bonus. So our next question, uh, freshman flub, tell us about an embarrassing moment. Go, let's go behind the scenes here. You, you you had during your first year here at the Hawaii State Capitol. Uh, sit, uh, Red Star, Representative Canada, we'll, we'll begin with you. Me? Mistakes? Never. 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 No. <laughs> Did you believe that? No. Now, we uh, showed up five minutes late to submit bills um, on a Friday afternoon. That was horrible. And then um, my mouth was writing checks that my butt couldn't cash. And so I was just freaking <laughs> out and figured it out right towards the end. It was, it was no problem. But but pay attention, pay attention to the schedule. That was a blessing. Excellent. Excellent. Senator, how about you? Yeah, there's a lot of that. Um, you know, as we know, the session goes extremely fast and there's about 5,000 fires to put out. Um, meanwhile, you have to pay attention to you know, your, the timing of everything and uh, deadlines and, and meetings and such. Um, I would say that on the floor, however, um, the Senate, <clears throat> during the Senate sessions, uh, the votes go really fast and you have to pay attention, you know, incredibly to what's happening. Uh, being that uh, it's my first year, um, I did stand up at one point to uh, give comments on a bill that we were talking about, a different bill. And so, uh, you know, it, it, Got a bit of, um, confused in the moment, and um, that was, uh, you know, I could I could sense a little bit of confusion or a different feeling coming from my colleagues, and then later on I I realized oh I was speaking to a different bill, and so it didn't quite make sense, and that was that was definitely a moment of um, all right, well you just keep moving on and do the best. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Not 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 too many big nothing big though. That's wonderful. Yep yep. How about you, Representative uh, uh, Tam? Because we were all in um, remote, in a remote legislature, I think that one of my freshman flubs was that we we're kind of just, just professionally from the top up, 
and I was wearing basketball shorts at one point. And I think I got up and I think everyone saw that I was just wearing a Nike basketball short with wearing suits. <laughs> <laughs> That was definitely my freshman flub. At least you had basketball shorts on. Yeah, man. <laughs> that's always wearing something, right? <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Okay, uh, okay. Here's a chance to kiss up. I think it's always important uh, to know, you know, where where your bread is buttered. Which legislator was the most helpful to you during your first year, Representative Tam? You get the first chance at this. The <laughs> Legislator that helped me the most would be Representative Ryan Yamada, who is the chair of the Health, Human Services, and Homelessness Committee. And that happens to be the um, committee that I'm vice chair of. Um, he was able to give me a lot of insights, a lot of um, tips, advice, and reasons as to why we are passing these bills. And I think that better prepared me as a legislator so I can understand the process and the mechanics that go into some of these um, ideas that are coming out of the legislature. How about you, Representative Ganadin? Um, the honorable, um, brilliant, intelligent Sylvia Luke, who uh, helped nice. guide us through this budget. So <laughs> capable, so intelligent. So um, I, uh, I, I really also need to thank my chair, uh, Takashi Ono. Um, he's yeah. chair of the... Um, 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 we, we are on the Committee on Corrections, Military, and Veterans Affairs. He helped really guide me. Um, we're about the same age, and we became friends over this session. So, um, so I really uh, uh, like to thank him. How about you, Senator? Did you make any friends? Oh, I made lots of friends. There was so much help in the in the state Senate and also with the representatives um, in, in the House. Um, is it cheating if I can't narrow it down to one? No, uh, you have to do one. Yes. I'm sorry. You're like yes. four seconds left. You know, um, I actually, I really can't. There's so many. Um, oh, gosh. But, uh, Sylvia Luke uh, yes, is the right Luke. answer. Yes, <laughs> I'm well, sorry, actually, it was Chair Luke. Yes. Actually, um, you know, the Hawaii Island delegation, so if I lump them in a sum, um, you know, they really helped me in so many ways. We were, I was grateful to work on collaborations. Um, some challenged me, got me to think. Um, so I really want to thank Senator Inouye, Senator Sam Buenaventura for long hours of, um, you know, discussion and, you know, collaborations with Rep Todd and Representative Nakashima and Representative Onishi. And I'm really inspired by our Representative um, Capella as well. She just really stands strong and she always comes with aloha. Um, but really still, I can tell her core values will, will be with her forever. Um, but in the Senate side, you know, you know, there's a group um, that we do a lot of bill study together with. Um, Senator Ihara has spent numerous hours mentoring, um, as well as uh, Senator Kim, Senator Moriwaki, Senator Riviere. But I think my buddy, my biggest buddy, is across the aisle, and um, it's Senator Favela. We really see eye to eye on a lot of things. Yes, yeah, very surprisingly, because, uh, or for myself even. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we really, I really feel like, you know, he was a great example for me and always standing for the people and standing together for Hawaii, um, for the betterment of Hawaii. Well, nicely done. You named almost everybody. Yeah. That was good. Seriously. Yeah. And now we're out of time. No, I'm yeah. just kidding. All right. So uh, <laughs> let's move on to our next question. The best bill. Uh, legislators considered more than 3,000 bills this session. And ultimately, we sent more than 230 to the governor. What was the single most important piece of legislation this year? I'm sorry, Senator, we're not going to begin with you because we can't we can't do that again. Uh, Representative okay. Gannett. Um, of course, it's the budget. The budget identifies um, yeah. where our priorities are this year. Uh, the legislature has shrunk the state government by, I believe, 7%. Um, that's a pretty significant amount. The federal government bailed us out this year. They're not going to bail us out again. We've got to do that for ourselves moving forward. Um, that we also mentioned earlier in the program, a discussion about broadband, really a lack of internet access for people in public housing, like many of the individuals that I represent. So we're working on that. We also started to make moves towards uh, criminal justice reform. So I'm happy to be a part of that conversation. Representative Tam, what do you think? The single uh, most important bill that we passed this year was a bill introduced by Representative um, Sean Quinlan of the North Shore. Um, it was HP 1176, which would create a green jobs court program. 
And I think that's like the first step we can take to diversify our economy, which is very needed. Okay, excellent. Senator, what do you think? Um, I actually think the most important bill was our um, Senate Bill 676, which passed the House, uh, the Senate, um, which is raising the minimum wage. Um, and unfortunately, it was stalled in the House. And so, you know, um, I, I really think, you know, I ad advocated myself for a graduated um, increase to actually a living wage. Um, I think, you know, if there's a change in leadership um, along the way that we'll have a, another chance at it. And I'm very hopeful that there's another chance at it for next year. Um, and I, I really do think that so much of our, um, you know, poverty stems out of it being able to have that living wage. Excellent. Well, those are all excellent answers. All right. All right. So looking ahead, let's be a fortune teller here. What's the most important issue for the legislature next year? Now that you have a year under your belt and you guys are all professionals, uh, you, you, you can see into the future. Representative Tam, what do you think it is? What's the most important issue next year? Well, this year, I think the most important issue was uh, getting the pandemic in order and to kind of take a handle on that. So I think the next year would be, again, to rebuild our economy. Like our majority leader said, businesses are going to continue to close because the economy is still not stable and tourism is not coming back. And that's why I'm really focused in on diversifying our economy. And that's why I mentioned that green job support program. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping that we can grow it and that we can create more stable jobs here in Hawaii for our people. Excellent. Senator, what do you think? Senator? I'm sorry. Yeah, your turn. That's all right. <laughs> Um, so I, again, I'm going to go back to um, living wage. Um, poverty is root cause of yep. so many of our issues, including homelessness, um, crime, uh, substance abuse, mental health issues. And I, I, I do believe that when we talk about sustainability and it, it, it will help bring and continue to have more of our money circling back into the economy and, uh, you know, allowing for more opportunities. So... Okay, Representative Ganadin. Um, I'd like us to talk about the social determinants of health. So the pandemic kind of teaches us that we're all connected, that your health, your family's health is connected to the lowest paid essential worker. And then we also had to redefine what essential work is. Sometimes it's somebody who's um, stocking a cabinet or helping you get your groceries. That said, I'd like us to really think out the kind of criminal justice system we need in the 21st century. Um, part of that is increasing people's living wages. Part of that is um, thinking out public health options that we actually increased funding for this last session. Um, and also increasing housing without infringing upon the constitutional and moral obligations that we have for Native Hawaiians. Wow. Yes. Those are all very good answers. You guys passed. Excellent. Excellent. That was good. So if you, uh, now you looked into the future. How about we take a step back now? And if you could turn back time, just like Cher once saying, and I won't do that here, but if you could turn back time, what would you do differently? Uh, we'll start with you, Senator. Uh, what do you think? I would have taken, um, well, if I had more time, um, but you know, if we're, <laughs> if we're magic makers, I would have had more time to collaborate um, prior to with, with and have more opportunities with uh, my colleagues. Um, and devoted more time to understanding the budget process and, you know, deepen my understanding of that. Excellent. Representative Ganadin. Um, it's, it, there's a feminist concept of no, noting that the personal, the political. So maybe I, I think that I would have um, put my personal life together prior to joining yeah. um, this political body. Um, so maybe I'll, I'll have time to do that. Um, um, but, um, yeah, I'm just, just joining with <laughs> what the Senator said. <laughs> and, uh, Representative Tam. I think that if I could do something differently and turn back time, what a really good song. I think that I would have spent, um, some time learning more of the history behind several proposals and legislations that, um, you know, have been done in the past. I'm hoping that. I think that if I spent more time, we would have, I would have probably found a piece of legislation that was proposed in the past that would have been a good idea now and would have had a chance and we would have had a chance to revive them. So I think that's what I would have done differently. Excellent. Excellent. 
Okay, now I know a lot of people are wondering this next question. I hope you're ready here. If you weren't a state legislator, what the heck would you be doing? Um, I think we'll begin with you, Representative Canada, and I think this is perfect. What would you be doing if you weren't a state legislator? Um, well, you know, before this, I was lawyering. I'm still lawyering, and mm -hmm. I was making a lot of art and writing, so I'll get back into that. Uh, also, uh, look, man, um, this year teaches us that it could all be gone. You know, you could you could lose everything, right? You could lose your health. You could lose everything. So um, I think there's an open mic stand-up comedy uh, like in Waikiki going down uh, this summer. So I might try that. I'm probably going to be terrible at it. So right. um, I'm going to practice with my staff that's going to be forced to listen to me. And so I'm going to put together a little 10-minute bit and probably insult my colleagues. So yeah, that's fantastic. I'll sign yeah. you up. I'm right there. How about <laughs> Representative Tam? Yeah, um, Rep. Ganna, if you do that, please invite me, especially since you're going to be in my district. Yeah, no, we're all coming. We're all, yeah, we're doing stand-up. I'll, I'll do everybody's <laughs> all impersonation. All 75 terribly. of us are coming. I think that if, uh, if I wasn't here, if prior to this, I, would, I was a staffer in the state Senate, so I would still be doing that. Mm -hmm. um, I will also be a realtor because that's what I'm currently doing right now as well. So we have a very small family run on real estate firm, and I would just be um, selling and buying houses for um, first time home buyers. Wow. OK. All right, Senator, how do you follow that up? We have a stand up comedian, realtor. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to try my hand at stand up anytime soon. But uh, yeah, I was, so I would be teaching um, K through six. I teach IK Hawaii, um, Hawaiian studies. And being that things have changed with the pandemic and our school structure set up, I would have probably also taken on a combination of PE and also garden um, with my students and incorporated all of the same concepts of Ike Hawaii and ethnobotany and uh, language, Olelo Hawaii, into those um, teachings. Um, I also um, help in, uh, with uh, families going into childbirth and, um, and the process of becoming a parent as a doula. And so I do that regularly within the community and I would continue that perinatal support in the community. Um, okay. I also participate, um, <laughs> I'd be continuing to participate as a state central committee member with the Democratic Party and various volunteer work with the Democratic Party as well as other volunteer work within the community. Holy smokes, that's, that's okay, that's amazing. And, that's and parenting, my, and I would be, I would be here with my kids, but. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so a uh, couple of questions left and we're kind of running short on time. What's uh, the in-between time? So what do you guys hope to accomplish during your first interim? Uh, we'll start with you, Senator. Uh, I will be getting a little bit more exercise because I've done a lot of sitting and a lot of reading. I'll continue to read, but I might have to read while I ride a bike or something. I don't know how that'll work. Uh, at any rate, um, yeah, I'll definitely be getting into the water. Um, also, but on a, on, a, on a serious note, I'll be um, engaging with community continually. And really, you know, for example, what farmers need for food resiliency. Um, so I'll be talking to farmers. Um, I'm really curious to learn more about this feed mill in Pana Eva and, and learn how that can really contribute to a, a sustainable circular economy within our community. Um, you know, just build more, continue to build more support with our waste to wealth initiative and our permanent supportive housing. So continue, uh, you know, to engage community um, like uh, Going Home Hawaii and Hope Services and work with Senator, uh, Congressman uh, Pahele. And Representative Gannadin, how about you? Um, uh, as the Senator said, I'm going to be reconnecting with community. Um, I still volunteer and I, and I work with young men and boys. Uh, 12 year olds in the neighborhood, so I'll do that. Also, I was gonna do a working group on criminal justice reform. Um, so thinking out the ways that we can end the state's relationship with private prisons. If we don't do it, nobody's gonna do it for us. Yep. Um, so that, that's gonna be kind of a process working with some former attorney generals, um, as well as some former judges on that. And Representative Tam. Um, like Senator Costco said, I'm going to be exercising a lot, a lot of running. I have a very yeah. dense district and people jog the perimeter of my district for fun. So I'm going to be doing that. But like I said, also said, reconnecting with the community, doing more events, doing talk stories, reaching out, seeing what help I can provide for them. And I'm also hoping that I could meet with a lot of stakeholders to draft some pretty groundbreaking legislation for the next upcoming legislative session. Nice. Okay. 
And the last question, real quick, real quick, in 10 seconds, what advice would you give to the next set of freshmen, uh, Representative Gannadin, real quick? Um, when I work with kids, there's something called temporary amnesty. Even if you're mad at somebody, just temporarily be kind to them and uh, just be a professional. Nice. Senator, how about you? Real I would quick. say read, read the bills, do your homework. Um, yeah. It takes a lot of time and it's an investment, but it's really worth it. Yep. And Representative Tam, thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to say be yourself and don't try to be someone you're not because authenticity resonates. Okay. Well, we're out of time. That was fantastic, guys. I learned so much about each of you. It's, it's, it's unreal. So thank you very much for joining us on Live at the Legislature. We hope to see you again soon. Thanks. Thank you. That was awesome. Thank you, guys. Bye. Bye.